Hey people, boy have I got a special treat for you. I'm going to be reviewing the, I don't know how to review the brewery, uh, oh, sorry, Ovelschult, the brewery, uh, lava, product of Iceland, smoked imperial stout. So it's imperial, so we got a 9.4% ABV here. Um, we have a $5.80 bottle, 500 milliliters and it is a product of Iceland. It also says on the side of the bottle, Lava Smoked Imperial Stout is inspired by Iceland's most active volcano, Hekla. The image on the label depicts the view of an eruption from the brew house. Ingredients are Icelandic water, malted barley, wheat malt, brown sugar, hops, yeast, and that's all it, it gives. Uh, you know they're not going to give all of them, so let's see what I can pick up for you. Um, this is a very strong beer. We got regular silver or bronze looking cap at the end here. Lefe glass I've been using for the past couple days. All right. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we got extra black beer here. We got an incredibly dark looking head, which is just the way that I like to see it. Um, almost kind of like a molasses looking color. Uh, very, very, very gorgeous looking. Oh, definitely smell the sweetness in the, in the beer. Uh, and the booziness, of course. Woo! There's some uh, wonderful smokiness going on around there. Ah, oh, whoa, 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 that's that's unbelievable, actually. Um, very, very tasty. Uh, definitely, you're picking up on the booziness, just like I said, 9.4 percent. What was that? 9.4 percent. Definitely picking up on the booziness, but there's a very, very, very uh, interesting uh, roasted kind of a smoky taste that's going on in there, which is really, really what's making it go. I like that whole, uh, the roastedness of it is definitely uh, very complimentary on the lava title. Um, very, very, very uh, dense. Very, very good beer. I'm definitely liking this one. Uh, I'm not going to be able to drink the whole bottle for you all because this is uh, quite the high alcohol content brew. I'm rather going to save it for the rest of the evening and uh, drink it as it is getting warmer and see how it tastes at uh, different levels. So this is pretty much as far as it's going to go with you on camera. Oh, You know what? It's not like a smoky meat texture it's uh it literally is just smoky like straight off the fire smoke um that's the best i can i can give you out of out of the taste aside from the the sweetness uh very very good um <coughs> wow oh very good um, if you don't like beer, you're, you're probably not going to like this, but if, if you are someone who really likes uh, an interesting and complex brew, this is this one's for you, man. Um, or woman. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to give this easily a 4.5 out of 5. My... For in order for me to give it a better review, I would just want there to be like a little bit more of a s significance and in taste instead of just in the in the booze. Ah, that's really good. That's really really good. Uh, I'm surprised I don't actually have to finish gigantic bottles of uh, of beer in front of you in order to finish videos. So I'm gonna leave it at that, people. Um, yeah, so 4.5 out of 5. I definitely winner on my on my be uh, on my part. I, I'm I'm a big lover of it. Definitely try it out. Uh, so thanks for joining me. Another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive.
but drink responsibly.